In 1985, Nintendo revolutionized the video game industry with this Nintendo Entertainment System. Many of its games have gone far beyond cult classics, becoming legends that have spawned sequels for 35 years. And it's often credited for single-handedly revitalizing that industry after the video game crash of 1983. Even if some of the TV ads look more like horror game ads than sports game ads. Strap yourselves in. Plug in your NES console and hope that the red light doesn't flash repeatedly on the front. We're going to take a look at my top 10 list for the best Nintendo Entertainment System games of all time. At number 10, it's Tecmo's classic from 1989, Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden features you as the character Ryu Hayabusa, who seeks revenge for the death of his father and gradually finds himself involved in a sinister plot that threatens the entire world. And what game would be complete without the opportunity to save the entire world? With the then novel ability to be able to scale walls to avoid enemies and overcome obstacles, challenging but fun level design, and great boss battles, Ninja Gaiden is more than a classic. It spawned decades worth of sequels, even if it is incredibly hard. Not only is this number nine pick RBI Baseball, one of the best baseball games on the NES, it's one of the best sports games period on the NES. This series even still lives on on modern game consoles. It features 10 teams including National League and American League All-Stars and it's certainly notable for being the first baseball video game to ever feature the license of the MLB Players Association so they had real Major League Baseball players from the era featured in the game. Although it's tremendous fun to play this game against the computer, where this game really shines is as a head-to-head -head sports game. The fast-paced arcade action and tight controls make this game a winner, and there's nothing like getting a friend to strike out on that cheap sinker pitch. If this were a discussion about the Nintendo Game Boy, Tetris would be number one because of its omnipresence with the system. But for Nintendo NES, it still shines as one of the absolute best games ever made for the console. Nintendo's port of Tetris is fantastic. Among the standout features are the vibrant colors, flexible gameplay options, and the tight controls. This game plays as well as any version of Tetris that's been made before it, in a lot of cases, that have been made since. It stands as a shining example of everything that made Tetris a world phenomenon that continues to live on today. Capcom is well known for making some great playing but challenging games for the NES console. At number 7, Mega Man 2 poses some of the most difficult side-scrolling platformer jumps on the console. Just take a look at this. Not only do you have to have the precision to make these jumps, with literally only one block standing between you and the lava pit beneath it, but you also have to shoot and fend off enemies that are constantly trying to attack you and knock you off the blocks. Madness. In spite of its difficulty, this game shines. It has a tremendous amount of levels and level depth to it. Type game controls with that NES pad. And as you build your skills in this game, it rewards you with more and more in-depth gameplay. Mega Man 2 stands out as the pinnacle of Mega Man gaming on the NES. There are seminal moments in every gamer's life. That moment when something so profound happens that you never forget it. When did you find out in this number six title on the list, Metroid, that Samus was female? Most gamers played many hours of this fantastic run and shoot game before they found out this revelation. Space pirates steal Metroids and plan to use them as biological weapons to eradicate all living things in the universe. As a last measure, they send you, Samus, in to try to save the day and destroy Mother Brain. This game has had numerous sequels on almost all of the major platforms for Nintendo, but it's the original 1986 game that introduced players all over the world to one of gaming's most beloved heroines. With only 10 spaces on the list, there are some games that probably are going to have a disservice done to them in this process, and Super Mario Bros. 3 being ranked at number 5 might very well be one of them. I worked for a company called Babbage's in 1990 when this game came out, and I remember selling so many copies at the register, I still, 30 years later, remember the SKU number that was on the box, 110225. 
it sold that many copies. With significant improvements in gameplay, power-ups, and overall graphics look, this game is absolutely one of the pinnacle must-own games for any NES owner. So why isn't it higher ranked on this list? The answer is simple. Although it was an incredibly successful game, one of the other Mario games in the series was more successful, and you'll be seeing it on this list shortly. With this number four game, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I think the thing that I remember most back in the day about it is not the game itself. It's how many times my friends and I went to the local Blockbuster video, which was in walking distance of where I lived, and rented it in an effort to try one more time to beat Mike Tyson. There is something just so immensely satisfying about getting the power star in this game and then knocking out an opponent using it with pressing that start button. When used at the perfect time, it was like having a finishing move before finishing moves were a thing. After my friends and I rented the game enough times to pay for it outright, we finally beat Mike Tyson. Just not this time. Ha! <laughs> As you well know, it's dangerous to go alone when playing the number three game on this list, The Legend of Zelda. Even as an early release for the NES, this game has an extraordinary amount of depth when it comes to gameplay. The world in which you explore is enormous, and it's even mapped out in print form that came in the cartridge in the form of fold-out maps. The Legend of Zelda cartridge itself was also extraordinary for being one of the first game cartridges to use a battery to save your games. That way you didn't have to keep track of passwords, you could save your progress right on the game cartridge in its memory because of the battery. The Legend of Zelda has been such a successful property that it has spawned numerous sequels across all of the major Nintendo consoles, Saturday morning cartoons, serials, amiibos, and more. And even today, game coders are still finding hidden rooms in the game code that were never part of the original commercial release of the game. Amazing! If you've never heard of the game at number two, Contra, and its 30 life code, you have probably been living under a digital rock. And if you're like me, you needed those 30 lives because Contra is well known to be one of the most difficult games on the NES and maybe one of the most difficult games ever in the history of gaming. This lovingly ported arcade game features heroes Bill Riser and Lance Bean from Earth's Marines trying to rid New Zealand of an alien base that could potentially destroy the world. And these savvy aliens have the uncanny ability to get you again and again and again and again and again and again. But if you hang in there, you just might make it to the end of the game and get a chance to take on the final alien boss and save the world. All in a day's work, right? Oh, like there was going to be any doubt at this point about what was going to be number one on this list. Super Mario Brothers helped usher in an entire new generation of home console gaming for Nintendo. And it's entirely possible that the World 1-1 Overworld music is the most popular and recognizable piece of music in the history of video gaming. When people think of the Nintendo Entertainment System, the most common game that comes to mind is Super Mario Bros. Even today, modern gamers continue to chase the elusive speedrun record for this title, yearning to complete the game in the fastest time in the history of the world. Super Mario Bros. remains the quintessential title for anyone who owns a Nintendo Entertainment System. And of course, making it a pack-in game with the console and putting Duck Hunt on the same console, well, that's just crazy talk. Of course, nowadays on modern flat panel televisions, those light zappers don't work so well anymore. So if you don't have one of the original tube televisions and you try to play Duck Hunt, that dog's gonna come out and laugh at you. A lot. What do you think about these top 10 choices? Did they line up with your top 10 games for the Nintendo Entertainment System? I'd love to know what you think. Share your top 10 NES list in the description below to join the conversation. There are a lot of great NES games that deserve recognition and they just might be on your list. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on great original new content as it's posted to the channel. And check out this video here, also linked in the description in the pinned comments below, 
for more great content for adding value to your video game experiences. Thanks so much, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.